Episode two of Drinks with Devs. I am Dan Hill, and this is my lovely guest today, Megan. Um, and we're gonna get to know her very well. Um, but first, before we do anything, we are gonna make a drink. So today we are drinking Irish cream, Bailey's, and coffee. Straight from Ireland. Straight? Straight, Straight from, from Ireland. Ireland. It's very authentic. <laughs> I think it's organic, maybe even gluten free. Vegan? Yeah. No. So. That's probably good. I didn't bring a shot glass, so no, I don't really know. Eyeball it. It's okay. There's yeah. never, not, never too much Bailey's. That's good. How do you get um, out of that thing? It's kind of got a spout almost. I thought when I was a barista, I can deal with it. Okay, all right. Show um, your boobs. See? All right, okay. Oh, oh! Shh, shh, don't tell them. They can't see. It's okay. too far away. All right. Oh, there. oh! Okay, thanks. My very expensive. <laughs> um, and then to top it, we also have gourmet whipped cream. Gourmet? Gourmet, hand whipped. Ooh. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Just a little bit. Just a little bit? You gotta get a knife. Stick it on the lips forever on the lips, right? That's what they say. Okay, that's good. Thanks. <laughs> that's oh, how you shit. do it. Yeah, Not yeah. yet. You got like a mountain there. It's got Sprinkles. a hill. One of like, it's the dash. Why One dash for those. Because it just looks nice. It, okay, alright. It's, well, like, it's almost like it's someone's birthday. It's the rainbow. Okay. Yeah. Alright, cool, thanks. No problem. You're gonna have a little mustache. Yeah. The Belgian dip. Mm -hmm. You didn't even toast. I'm just so excited about it. <laughs> the East Side Games with popcorn. Yeah, yeah. Can't see it now. It, now it's see, you screw yourself with the whipped cream. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even get to it. He's talking to I know. <laughs> just ignore that. Um, anyways. <laughs> we don't have napkins. It's on my nose, it's on my face, it's just, on my just, shirt. Just, no, I got it. It's fine. No, don't yeah. let it distract you. Okay. Okay. So, Megan. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do here at the side game? Uh, I'm a 2D artist. Um, I was working on Pop Farm. Yeah. Um, but now I'm working on another Wii game, so Ooh. more exciting Wii stuff coming through. Yay. <laughs> so, how did you get into the industry? Where did you go for art? I'm assuming you went to school for art? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, I went to a college for just traditional animation, okay. and that covers a wide variety of things. I didn't really know about mobile games too much yeah. back then. Uh, I went to, I went and did advertising, TV, all that kind of stuff, and then when I went to mobile games, I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing! And then, yeah, yeah and then I just stuck with it. Didn't realize you had such a rich background. Yeah, I'm yeah. everywhere. Which school I've did you go to? Things. What? Which school did you go to? Uh, Capilano. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Good. Me too. Look yeah. at this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Twizzy. Uh, we have a question from Terry. Yes. Um, they say, hi, Megan. They are a six plus year pot farmer. Do you like long walks through the office at midnight? That, if I hear at midnight, usually things are going very wrong. <laughs> I've been here at midnight. What? Things were going very right. I think it was the staff party. <laughs> oh yeah. Office dad had to kick us out. Oh yeah. We were too rowdy. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what is your average day like here at Eastside Games? When you come to the office, what do you do? What are you working on? I like just shoot back a coffee. That's usually how I started, mm -hmm. and then I just like just grind it. Tantique in the face. Drawing all the time. Nice. I'm <laughs> always jealous of you guys' Cintiqs. They're huge. <laughs> They're just they draw fancy. These gigantic they get really hot like though. Them. They get like super hot. Yeah. Yeah. In the winter is nice. Like I guess, but still hot. Yeah. Like, I mean, I've had red marks on my hands from really? drawing so, so it's much. it's really burning you. No, no, I don't think it's literally. It just looks sore. It's just like from rubbing. You should collect like injury work insurance. Oh I my should. God. Yeah. There you all go. Right. Don't tell them I told you to do that. Oh yeah, don't um, tell anyone. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> um, I have a question for you as well um, about Pop Farm specifically. Mm -hmm. um, what is your favorite Pop Farm asset that you've worked on in, since you started? Since I started. What was the most fun? Oh my gosh. And what are you most proud of? Um, I say hands down, um, probably the Queen Alien, the mm. Queen Alien Bunny. I think it's the eggs. Yeah, like it's up the It's disgusting looking. It's amazing. It's <laughs> I'm a big fan of the Alien series, so it was like super fun to do that. You nailed it. The animation Ooh. too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Really, um, really awesome. Yeah. 
Any other questions from the fans um, coming in? Yes, Saucy Man. Uh, oh, wait. great name. <laughs> Saucy Man. Saucy Man would like to know if you ever drink Baileys from a shoe. <laughs> Whoa, no. Is that fancy? How clean? Is it a wooden yeah, shoe? Yeah, is it used? There is no specific shoe involved here. Oh, okay. okay. Um, depending on the shoe, I might. But it was I'm a John Fleabog from yeah. Gastown, maybe. Mm -hmm. What about like a glass slipper? Glass slipper? Holy shit, that's glass. Yeah. 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 That'd be really awesome. Bailey's out of a glass slipper? I'm pretty sure that's what Cinderella did. Just that's high glasses. class, yeah. Back. Yeah. Um, is that a weird question? Um, anyways, moving on. What is your favorite thing about working at Eastside Games, our lovely studio? You can kind of see it behind us, everyone working away, doing their thing. Enjoying life, I hope. Maybe not. I think they're enjoying themselves. Maybe not Darth over there. Maybe not. Gone away. Yeah. Little grind. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite thing. I mean, I usually say it's the people, but I mean. But um, not today. <laughs> <laughs> I come no. here, I pour you a nice drink, and it's he, not the people. He did brew me coffee. Um, <laughs> it's like usually, it's like. It's always for me the people in the industry. Yeah. Like every job I've been at, it's been always everyone's so lovely. Um, but for once, I got to a company that actually invests in me as a person, treats oh, me as a nice. person. Yeah. And that's that's my favorite part. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of the same answers for that question. Yeah. Whatever I'm asking, like the people, and it's like ESG is so nice. Yeah. Really well, good, good they vibes. They are. They are. Yeah. I mean, like I mean, I've been at companies that are just less than. Yeah. Good, and but the people have always been really really fun to work with. Like, yeah. they're always the saving grace. Everyone's great. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. You've met a lot of them. You're going to meet more fans. Um, we got a lot more people to introduce in the studio, and actually a lot of people that want to introduce themselves to you. So in the future, we're going to have a ton more. Um, any other questions from yes. the lovely viewers um, today? A few questions here. So uh, Simon wants to know what your favorite song or band is. Mine? Yeah. They don't care about me. Oh, okay. This is about you. All right. OK. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Mm. Um, just anything that moves me. I don't know. I've been listening to... <laughs> like emotionally or just, or just physically? Uh, physically. Okay. Emotionally, that you can't do that at work. Just like I mean, crying. Just like in front of your computer, that just doesn't... Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there, right guys? I do get pumped, like sometimes, just at work, if I was to do like the Pacific Rim main theme. Yeah, really? Just, just get super amped up, get ready to draw some weed, and... Lately, I've been listening to Beyonce Single Ladies. Nice. Yeah. Good call. Mm -hmm. Queen B. Mm -hmm. It's always good. Mm -hmm. Everyone's nodding in this room right now. <laughs> yes. Uh, Kimberly wants to know um, what games you play and if you play Pot Farm. Mm. Well, of course I did a little bit um, because I had to, you know, see where my stuff was going mm -hmm. <laughs> when I was drawing it. Yeah. Uh, well, are we? Is it mobile specific or is it mm -hmm. no? Okay, well, Any game? Uh, I'm kind of a hardcore oldies fan, um, like replaying like Final Fantasy 9 and 10. Nice, nice. Yeah, um, uh, but if I'm not doing that, I'm usually playing Guild Wars. Really? Yeah. The first one? No, no, the second one. Okay. Yeah, I just recently bought oh. the expansion, so I'm just like Two thumbs up. soaking it all in. No, I mean, like, a lot of it hasn't even downloaded yet. There's so much stuff. Mm. Um, I want to ask you something, because over the year, I've gone to know one fact about you, yeah. and it's you seem to like cat. Yes. A little bit. Yeah. Just a touch. Mm -hmm. It's like it's kind of subtle here and there, but people call me crazy. Yeah. So <laughs> how many cats do you actually own? Three. Three cats. Yeah. What are their names? Peaches, Finn, and Goon. 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 I just want to read that one. Yeah. It sounds like a character. <laughs> it is though. It's from uh, the comic book The Goon. Oh, okay, nice. Mm -hmm. You're gonna buy more. Adopt more. Adopt more. Not comics, cats. <laughs> Both. <laughs> um, I don't know. My dream is to have a farm with like two hundred cats, but I mean, oh my God. that's Maybe not going to happen. Chaos. Probably, well, a good kind of chaos. Be a catastrophe. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't even have writers on the show. Yeah, I know. It's up on the spot. I know. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any other questions? Uh, yeah, there's some more coming in. Uh, Tony wants to know how you feel about Pokemon Go, mm -hmm. and Annie wants to know where you draw most of your inspiration from. Hmm. That's, those are That's a big questions. Yeah. Both big questions. Most yeah. of the Pokemon questions. Well, I mean, the Pokemon it's question. My life now. 
Like, <laughs> I wish you could join the fray, but I'm just waiting for it to actually be released. Yeah. At this point. Fun fact, not out in Canada yet. Mm -hmm. So we're all kind of downloading APKs and stuff. Yeah. It's really fun to see everyone kind of like just kind of doing their thing. Mindlessly wandering through the streets, nearly yeah, getting yeah. hit by cars. <laughs> Seeing everyone in like this room and just like kind of like looking for what was it in here before? Like, oh, was it, what was, was it? it? A Charmander or something? No, I think it was like a gas station or something like that. Oh, okay. We we're all in here. Like, just day. like trying to find it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. What about your inspiration? Oh, um, Do you have a muse? Is it your cats? Oh my gosh. Well, they are my therapy. Okay. <laughs> kind of hand in hand. Yeah. <laughs> um, obviously, it's tons of things. Mm -hmm. So many things. I don't think I can name just one. Um, there's so many talented people out there, and because of the internet, I can just dive into everything I want to. And yeah. Who's your favorite artist out there right now? Oh, I don't really have a favorite. No. <laughs> no. I mean, I just I uh, the beauty of being able to just like create a username, just follow all the users you like. So my feed is always just filled with amazing artists. You're talking about Tumblr or Facebook? Both. Yeah. Yes, both, yeah. but mostly Tumblr. Mine's Instagram. Instagram mm. artists are my jam. Cool. Any other? Yeah, there's lots of questions oh, coming in. Keep, keep you're coming. very popular, Megan. Oh my god. Um, cool, you're making it. It's, you're famous it's now. The Bailey's. Uh, so sprinkles. Debbie, yeah, Debbie wants to know what led you to working at ESG, and um, Terry wants to know like what kind of assets you've created in the game. Okay. Uh, what brought me to Eastside Games? Um, we hired you. Yeah, that's true. That's pretty good. That Besides was amazing. Them. I mean, I got a cute story behind it. A yeah. Bit. Yes, a little. Lay it on us. Um, well, okay, before I worked at Eastside, I was working at another TV company, mm -hmm. and it was so horrible. I was working like 14 hour shifts and stuff. Oh, God. Like, really bad. Um, it was like the lowest point. Like, I was just so tired. Oh, depressing. And um, so, like, Eastside Games had an opening, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to try this. And uh, my friend at the same time was also going for the same job. So, we were both trying to help each other get the same job. Were you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, the entire time. Like, I mean, she didn't know Flash very well, so I was like, I'm going to teach you. Oh, so, like, that's really nice. Yeah, I just, like, we just kind of worked together. And it was really fun. Um, and I don't know what happened, but they sent the, uh, the you're in to my friends, but never sent it to me. And then the whole weekend, I thought I didn't get the job, so I was just bawling my eyes out, going like, oh, this is my life now. <laughs> and then um, a Monday morning, I got... The acceptance letter, and I thought I was gonna just dance on the bus. Awesome. I love right so you and your friend got hired. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Beautiful story. Yes. I was expecting you to like win, and then you never talk again. <laughs> or she tries to like kill you out of revenge or something. <laughs> no, no, never that dark. <laughs> okay. I find support usually yields some good results. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was the What was the other question? Which assets have you worked on? Oh, God, so many. Just name a few. Um, Give us a handful. I really like doing the mermaid. That was fun. I wonder if we have one fan that loves a mermaid so much. Really? She's always asking for more mermaids in the game. Oh! I got mermaids in grassroots. Did you? Yes. Nice. I did. We need more mermaids in everything. <laughs> Apparently. Or maybe some mermen as well, you know? Yes. Also. I would have liked that, but I was pulled off grassroots and now I'm on something else. Should make mermen like hideous, like just like fishmen. Like bottom man, top fish. Nice. Put it the other way around. No, I prefer hot guy and then uh, okay. shell, right? That's fair. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just keep it even all the way around. <laughs> and any other assets? Um, oh jeez. I've done so gosh darn many. I did those birds, those... Like the tropical birds that come from the eggs? No, no, the, the, the ones in the BDSM and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> that oh. was the lovebirds. That was a weird... Yeah, hunt. all the BDSM <laughs> stuff in the game is just so ridiculous. I can't believe, I can't, like there's days when I walk by the artist's desk, especially, I don't think you were working on Pop Mart during the Sex Island theme, and I'd be walking by another artist's desk, and there'd just be like, bongs and wang yeah. all over his screen. Oh yeah. And I wouldn't know what to think of it. Yeah, like, no. This is where I work. No, it's just, it's pretty <laughs> standard. I mean, I'm afraid to Google some things for research. Yeah. I'm just like, BDSM, oh god, here we go! <laughs> I don't want to know, I don't want to know everyone's research. Search history. No. It's, it's just ridiculous. I want more booze. Have you finished yours already? It's like mostly whipped cream. All right. Uh, while you're pouring that, yeah, um, who was it? 
Uh, Janie, she wants to know if you prank your coworkers or if you're more of the victim of pranks. If somebody pranked me, I would just rage out on them. I wouldn't want to prank you. No, you, you're afraid of me, right? I, I wouldn't want to prank you. <laughs> I feel like uh, there's people that would like, yeah, either kill you or find it funny and then prank you back. I feel like you might kill me. It's possible. Then I don't know you that well. Mm. So maybe I'll have to test that out in the future. Oh, well, you better not. <laughs> You'll never know when it's coming. Yeah, I'm no um, Jim. I know, right? <laughs> I can't remember any actually really good pranks happening in the office. I remember one of our coworkers hated minions and we'd always buy minion stuff and hide it on his desk. <laughs> That's all awesome. the time. Yeah, that was Eli. He loved it. Yeah. Like there's uh there was one time I was in school and somebody put like tape on my mouse on the laser so it wouldn't oh, work. It's a good one. I got so mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> got really mad. You switch like, what the fuck was another that? good one is if you switch the M and the N keys on a keyboard. Oh okay. You just swap them. Oh, okay, that's a good yeah. one. Yeah. You could always do like the spell replace things. So every time you like spell your name, it'd be butt. Oh, right? yeah. Right? Yeah. So good. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, Pam, she wants to know if there's uh, separate design teams or if everybody works together. It used wanna, to be. Yeah. I mean, like, it used to be separate, but now we're sort of like combining into one mega force. Yeah. Like, when it, like robots assemble into one giant robot. That's a really good analogy for that, actually. We have yeah. one gigantic robot. Yeah. Uh, we call it Live Ops. Everyone That's works right. on Locks. everything. Locks. <laughs> Whole Locks team. <laughs> That's really, yeah, it's great. It used to be separate, like Megan said. Yeah, it used to be. But now we're trying to be more efficient, and it's kind of nice There's when you got, yeah, yeah, when you got like lots of people knowing how to do all these different projects, and yeah, it's great. Good, good feedback, and yeah. Totally, I enjoyed it. Uh, but, Couple more minutes here. Mm. Uh, Dwayne says hi, Megan, and he'd like a high back. Hi, Dwayne. That... Spot on. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Dwayne the yeah. Rock, or it's definitely the Rock Johnson. Oh, cool. For sure. All right. He's a big fan. Uh, Betty has a question. She wants to know how long it takes to come up with a theme and all the quests. Oh my. Do you ever sit in on the theme planning meetings? Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, we have usually two meetings. One to kind of just decide on what the overall theme should be and what the design is driving it and then after that we get really specific on what assets and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's when it gets fun. I've only ever been to the <laughs> asset one. I haven't yeah. been to the other higher level ones. But everyone just pulls the craziest ideas. Have any of your ideas gone through to the game? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean I think I really push for that mermaid. The mermaid always comes up. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean like I wish I came up with the Queen Alien one. I wish. That was actually all that, um, Keeper? Yeah? Yeah. I can see that. <laughs> I don't think any of my ideas have really gone through yet. I think maybe one, but I forget what it was. I'll get them someday. My sprinkles are melting. Oh. One more? No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's have one more question and we're gonna wrap it up here. Okay, Heather wants to know what your favorite theme was. Oh my god. Which theme was the mermaid one in? That was a pirate one. I wasn't here back then. Oh, okay, yeah. No, that one was like, the plans for that one was a bit of a pain in my butt for that, so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think probably, you know that Easter one with the Queen Alien bunny and I got to do like the Carbonite bunny too? Yeah. Like that was pretty fun. I'd have to say that was my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up. We could answer questions forever, but we got jobs to do, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember last uh, last stream, someone in the comments said, I don't think you're drinking actual alcohol, that's water. You don't know us very well. Yeah, we drink. No, we definitely drink. Um, thank you all for tuning in. It's been a pleasure, as always. Megan, thank you so much for coming on the show. Was, we have such a high production value. We're always trying to raise the bar, and you really helped out. Sweet. This time around. Um, sorry if the audio quality is a bit meh. We're working on getting a mic for our streams in the future, which is going to be really great. Yeah, you're about five feet away right now, guys. Yeah, in distance. Um, we work at a company called Eastside Games. We make mobile and social games on Facebook. Um, our major brand is Pop Farm. If you don't know already, I'm assuming lots of you know, we're located in Vancouver. You should look us up. If you don't, play some of our games. Check it out. Don't do it. And that is all for this stream. It's been a pleasure. Everyone have a nice afternoon. Enjoy your drinks. Just chugged it. And I was going to cheers to Pop Farm. Pop
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should be a news 